Hi, my name is Dr. Stephanie Lamb and I work here at Carnegie Women's Health. The topic I'd love to talk to you today about is infertility. Um, infertility is a topic that essentially troubles many, many, many women. Um, it can happen for women from the ages of 21 all the way up to women in their 50s. The definition of infertility is essentially a woman who has been trying to get pregnant for a period of time and can't get pregnant. We break infertility up based upon length of time and we look specifically at the age of the patient. So in general, if a patient of ours who's under the age of 35 has been trying to get pregnant for about a year, we would consider that infertility. For women who are over 35, we don't want those patients to wait a full year. And so typically we say to them, if they've been trying to conceive for about six months, we would consider those patients infertile and then that they should be coming to their doctor for a full checkup. So all of our patients know, essentially, if you've been trying to get pregnant on your own, um, you and your significant other, and you're having difficulties, whether it's one year based upon age or approximately six years, you should call us. So what happens? The patient will call, they'll set up an appointment, they'll come to the office, and we sit with them. We start out with a history, we'll start about with some questions, we'll go to a physical exam, and then we'll start to order some tests. Infertility in general is a, is a big topic. Um, and why do women have difficulty getting pregnant? Well, about 40% of infertility can be due to women's issues. About 40% of infertility can be due to the male issue. And about 20% of infertility, either we never figure out the reason, or of those 20%, it could be a combination of women and men infertility issues combined. So if someone's been trying to get pregnant and they're having difficulty, like I said, they'll come on in, they can see one of us, we sit down, we talk to them, we'll do a physical exam, uh, and then we'll order some tests. And the tests are basic to start. There's nothing overwhelming or scary about it, but we start out with some blood work. Um, the blood work ideally is done during a certain time of the month, um, and there's just some simple blood tests that we'll order for them. Um, in addition to blood, because there can be hormonal imbalance or age-related, and we look at their ovary status, we also would order a test that can look at the uterus and the fallopian tubes. That test is called a hysterosalpingogram. Um, and that test will tell us if there's any issues with the anatomy of a woman, if their fallopian tubes are blocked, maybe due to infection in the past or scarring. Um, it'll look at the lining of the uterus to see if there's any issues or anything obstructing. Um, that test also has to be done on a certain time of the month, um, and that test would be ordered for the patient. Um, in addition, there's obviously the male workup, because we said infertility can be due to male factor, um, and that includes a semen analysis. Um, most men don't love the idea of going for this, but it's also a very simple test. They just had to go to a lab, and um, we'll check their semen, and we'll see if there's a male factor. Once we get those blood tests and hysterosalpingogram and semen analysis back, we would re-meet with the patient and then see if we can actually figure out what's going on. If the problem seems to be a little bit more difficult or advanced, then at that point we may refer you on to a reproductive endocrinologist or an infertility doctor um, that we would work in conjunction with. So I always say to the patient, the best place to start is with us. Give us a call, come on in for an appointment. Um, we'll sit, we'll talk to you. You can bring your significant other, um, or if it's during COVID time, which is a little bit more challenging now, we can set up a Zoom call and your partner could be on the phone um, and we would love to help you out. So anyway, give us a call. Take care. Bye.